What's up guys, Tevin here back again with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last video, we started making our way through the, I forget, the Kuja's Palace or whatever. I think that's what it was called. I don't know anymore at this point. So, we lit this can in the last video and I was trying to go through this doorway over here, if I'm able to. It doesn't look like I can, I thought I could. I also turned on safe travel mode just because these fights are starting to drag on the video much longer than they really should be. And I do want to hurry up and get through this as soon as possible for you guys and don't want to waste time having it stuck in fights that we already know the outcome to since I'm so overpowered at this point. Okay, I don't think I can go any further past here, so let me head back. So as always, let me know if everyone's day is going down in the comment section below. I am still dragging, trudging through this game. Uh, let me check with this one again. Okay. And what was in here? Fairy earrings. I already have those. So that's fine. Uh, let me see. Oh, hold up. There we go. I was missing something over here down the very bottom left, and now this is glowing. Let's see, faithful paladin extract the power to nullify element properties from the ring. Inspect the bloodstone. Yes. And we received the promised ring. I feel like that's going to be equipment that I can put on someone, so I'll check. Let me check that out right now, actually. Of course, I'm always going to default to dagger first. And where are you? There it is. No, you can't learn anything from it. What about Iko? Can you learn anything from the promised ring? No, really. What about Vivi? I'm probably like grasping at straws here because I doubt Vivi can learn anything from this thing. Of course, it's Vivi that can learn something from this thing. All right, you're going to put that on Vivi. Start learning some magic null when we get out of here, since I'm trying to avoid fights right now. Um. You said something about the bloodstone. The bloodstone is proof of his power. Hide the light with your hand. So what exactly does that mean? The bloodstone is the source of his power. Each color holds different powers. Um, I lit something down at the very bottom. So that's good. I lit something off at the top. Hold on. What if happens I light this? And this. Ooh, okay. That gets rid of this pathway over here. So now it doesn't matter. I can light all of these suckers. And now that all the candles are lit, I can do this. Pathway open when all lamps are lit. Okay, never mind. Oh, but it lets me interact with this one now. And now, okay, cool, there we go. Now let's look at you. Offering a power, Faithful Paladin extract magic from the chain. Spec this bloodstone, and we get... An anklet. Hold up, can I still inspect this? Okay. Well, now that everything's lit over here, there's no further reason for me to stay. So go ahead and leave. So now that I did everything down here, let me check this upper pathway now and see if I'm able to go through where that door was. Does not look like it. Okay. Well, it was a good try. So let's see, where should I go now then? Should I... There's nothing over here. It's just an empty wall. Come down here, did that, got the blood some here. Is there anything further down this way? That I might have missed or that I can interact with now? No, it's just where we originally started, so that's obviously a no-go, so let's head back. There has to be something over this way then. I don't see any other way to Okay, there it goes. Now that door's open again. 
So what's through here? Okay, further advancement. Uh, was there anything in here that I can... No, I didn't mean to leave and go back. This must be another bloodstone. Oh, here it is. Just gotta go closer. And turn this on. And now interact with you. Oh, we didn't even read it fast enough. Extract this bloodstone. And we get shield armor. Oh, I can't read what it said anymore. Uh, let me see if there's anything around here of importance. But I can loop around and come up here. Is this where I get to... Okay, well that's lit. Literally. And over here, this is the upper pathway. And now we're in some library. And... I can't interact with these books over here. Oh, but there's another candlestick over here I can lit up. That reveals a bookcase. I want to come up here and oh here goes another candle let's light this baby up reveals a secret passage just on our size to walk through and another bloodstone offering a power faithful power to extract the power to dodge from the bracer take this bloodstone and we get an Enkai armlet let me actually check to see if I can, like, put these things on anyone. Can, but you don't learn anything from it. What about you, Vivi? You can learn water, you're wearing this. One of them was shield armor, but I don't think Vivi or any of them can do this. Oh, why did I not put this on you yet? Alright, Gaia Gear, here it is. So far, a lot of these things Vivi can learn from. Is there... So, Promise Ring, Promised Ring, Gaia Gear, Enkai Armlet, it's just the shield armor, and I don't think any of them could do that. Okay, so that's everything we've obtained so far from in this place. Now that we got it, let's go ahead and leave. Because I don't think there's anything else of real significance in here, but hold up. I thought we lit this one up already. Why is it off now? I can't turn off candles once I light them, can I? I can't. So why are you off? Well, actually, now that I think about it, there's one up here. Oh, hold up. I thought I could interact with something over here. Wise Man's Folly. Unlit stained glass opens the path when lit. Okay, so that's a little hint for us how to move forward. I can light this one, and it moves the bookcase up so I can reveal another passageway in the middle. And I can come over here to the left hand side, let's light this. That lights up this stained glass, so we're making progress. And through here, I can light one more, it seems. So it's another one up the list. Is there anything forward over here? No, it's just this one pathway, so let's go ahead and head back to the library then and see if we can take a lower pathway. Since it looks like we're slowly shifting everything up. So now, okay, good. I can interact with this one now. And I can take this way. And let's light up this baby. Alright, so nothing happened so far, so guess this is a good thing. Oh, hold up. Is that, was that, was that a Moogle? I could unlight this, but we'll do obviously to move it back down. Oh, I can actually come through here. Okay. That's where the Moogle is. All right. Let me go ahead and save because it's been a long time since I was able to save. Go ahead and choose slot nine. And let's put this over here at number four. There we go. Oh wow, is it? Ooh, they are a lot higher level than these guys right now. Probably because I have been in a lot of fights with them and I did a moderate grinding. Let's check Mognet real quick. Haven't received any mail lately, Koopo. You have a letter from Koopo to Koopo. Alright, so 
Let's, hold up, was there anything else further past you? Oh, there was! Alright, I'm glad I came back. Let me light up these candles then. It's like, is this going to reveal a path or is it going to unlight some... It didn't do... It just panned over, it didn't really do anything. Okay, it keeps highlighting that stained glass, but at least now this bloodstone is going off. Offering a power. Faithful power to instruct the power to resist magic from the hat. Alright then, let's take this. And we get the black hood. And of course, as always, Vivi's just going to get everything. Where are you, black hood? I can learn death from this. Vivi's just... He's going to learn a whole bunch of, if I actually get into any fights to actually learn them, he will. Oh, let me see. Well, we did everything here, so let's head in through this doorway since it's the only really way forward now at this point. A lot easier how much things can be accomplished when I turn off, like, random encounters. Even though I really don't like to turn it off because I feel like it's an important part of the game. You didn't do this in the original, so why would I be able to do it now just because it's a remaster? But it's it saves me time in doing videos with this type of format where I have a set time limit. Anyway, now that all the lights are on, well, almost all the lights, but I can expect this bloodstone to extract the power to dodge magic from the shield. So what is this one going to be? A Veneta shield. Do I even have anyone that can equip shields? Alright, so the painting over to the left came on. But now... Messenger from Heaven. Oh, no, don't go in there yet. Dare not to follow those of evil. Strive to follow those good. Dead Spirit Seduction. Okay. Let me. Can Kiwana put on the shield? I don't know why the shield would be in here. It wouldn't. Is it ex an accessory you can put on? Um. It duh. No, it's not. I don't know why I would think it would be a vest they can put on. Oh, but you... Okay, I'll put this on you then, so she can learn something new. No. Oh, oh, oh. You can learn... I'm already learning gamble defense from something else, aren't I? Yeah, I yeah, am, so no point to put that on. I haven't updated any of their equipment in a while, it looks like, for the magic casters. Just because I've been so busy with everyone else. Mithril bracelet... armlet. And I don't think there's anything else in here that I can really put on for them. Yep, there's not. Alright. So it kept on highlighting that one stained glass, and there's really no other way for me to move now at this point. Yeah, there's nothing over here, or here. Uh, can't do anything down this way. What did you say? Apostle from the Underworld. I wonder if I need to... No, I feel like there is something I can do to move forward here. I think I need to angle these lights just right in order to create shadows that can help me move forward. What if I have these two on? No. Okay, turn this one off and I'll try the right hand side one. There we go! 
Okay, I knew I would get it eventually. Alright, so let's take this upper pathway now, then. And then from here... Doesn't look like there's anything else but this one lone camera up oh, camera candle all the way to the far left. Intruder alert defense system activated. Initializing automatic countermeasures, transferring from observation to attack mode. Okay, so this is not something I want to do right now. Is it gonna move forward? Huh? That's not Kuja's voice. Okay, yes, this is going to be a good place to stop because I feel like we're about to get into a boss fight. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. We have made, we're, it looks like we're making a big progress through this place, so hopefully in the next video we will be advancing to actually get out of here and reconnect with everyone else. So, as always, if you guys like the video, please give the video a like, leave a comment, all those good things I normally say at the end of these videos, and let me know how your day is going down in the comment section below. Sorry, I didn't talk about myself much in this episode just because I was so focused on trying to get through this as fast as I can so we can move on finally. So, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one, so take care everyone.